Why? 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 Have you not subscribed to my fucking channel? You're just not my cup of tea. You, you subscribe to Ominous Voice. He's funny, he makes me laugh. Almighty Atheismo, what's your excuse for subscribing to that bogey bum? He paid me. Me and you, in the ring, in a fight. If I beat you, you have to subscribe to my channel. If I win, you will be making a special apology to me. Fine. Oh, what's this? Oh my goodness! It's the scientific method! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Thunderfoot wins! Thunderfoot wins! And Richard Coffin will have to make an apology video. This is an apology to Thunderfoot and other YouTube Thunderfoot from myself to him Thunderfoot. My username on YouTube is DPR Jones. My username on YouTube is Coughlin666. I confirm that the contents of this video and everything I say is true and accurate, apparently. It will be. No, you're making this apology, so sit the fuck down and get on with it. I, I, am, I am sat down. I'm just... Lest you suffer the scientific method again. As many of you may know, last week I angrily approached the YouTube user known as Thunderchrist and <coughs> known as Thunderfoot. Thank you. And aggressively tried to solicit a subscription from him to my channel on YouTube, which you can subscribe to yourself by visiting www.youtube. Richard, stop. Stop pimping your stuff. This is my apology video. Now get on with it. <clears throat> I admit that I have repeatedly in the past referred to Thunderfoot as a stupid bloody hippie. I have made constant jokes about his grossly oversized neck and compared his haircut to that of comedian, singer, songwriter Weird Al Yankovic. I hereby retract all of those comparisons. There is nothing at all untoward regarding Thunderfoot's somewhat voluminous haircut and his neck is adequate given the rest of his body's proportions if he was a hippo. <coughs> what the fuck? Listen. What? You will say what is written or else you'll get the hose again. In fact, in fact, I want you to wear a kilt while you're doing this. A kilt? As a cape. A cape? Yeah. Why? Humor me. Try doing that and you wouldn't bloody you. <laughs> Pardon me. It's not my fault, I'm nervous. Shall I go back to the stuff about your neck? Yes. Instead of stuff about your neck and your hair. Yes. And your hair and your your neck with being a hippie. Get on with um, it. Okay. How much did Atheismo pay you? That's a private contract between him and between him and me. It was a contract. He is desperate. I like to cover my ass in these situations. Mm. That's what DVI Jones said. I have also made numerous claims and statements in the past regarding Thunderfoot's adventures in his car. He was in fact doing important scientific research and was in no way was he driving round solving mysteries, smoking marijuana. I admit that I also referred to him as a gibbering spastic when he fell asleep next to a cliff and attached his penis to a piece of dental floss. People should be more careful when slagging off Thunderfoot. I would recommend you avoid it altogether. Oh, Richard, one more thing. Yeah? I want you to wear a mask. A mask? No. A mask, A kilt, yes. a mask. Yes, I would like you to be nice to me. Be nice? Yes, I want you to... I'm apologising. Exactly, yes, you may be apologising, but not being very nice man. You need to... I want you to be complimentary. I want you to, um... <laughs> I want you to worship me. For Zeus did one day give us upon this day our mighty Thunderfoot and his wonderful series of videos debunking the claims made by complete and utter retards such as Gear Up. I would happily remove both my testicles with nothing more than a pair of wooden salad tongs just for the opportunity to smell his scrotum. Thank you for that, I was deeply moved. And Richard, one more thing, you must remember, today Thunderfoot kicked your ass in that ring. It was the greatest day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. Best wishes, Thunderfoot. He's gone. He's gone. Is he gone? Hold on, I'm in his basement. Is that DPR Jones in a cage? 
No, that's a hamster. Richard, Richard, shh, keep your voice down. And it's very difficult for me. He's had me trapped in here for six months. Brian, bless it. Yes, that's the one. Wow. You have, you have to help me. You have to help me. He's a madman. Who is? That Thunder Christ fellow. We have to get out. We must go. Oh shit, he's coming, he's coming. I want my dudes here. I can go home, can't I? Thanks very much for the apology. I'll um, see you next week. Yeah. Why, why next week? I noticed I'd come by for a cup of tea. But I'm in your house. I know. You picked me up half a fucking hour ago and said, let's go to my house. We'll film in the basement. I've got a pet orangutan in the corner. Brian, yes. Yeah, Brian, Brian. Where, where am I? I couldn't tell That's I couldn't tell how we got here because I was in the boot of your car. I'm pretty, well, don't worry, you'll catch a bus or something. But Brian you glued said. the crucifix to my hand. How much, just in case, just to atheist mode, how much did he really pay for you to subscribe to him? Just, you know, we could negotiate. He gave me eight pints of his blood. The human body only has seven. Exactly, to be fair. That is DPR Jones. In a hamster's costume. Shit, you weren't supposed to notice that. Get out of it, Dennis. Yeah.